Hello, beautiful viewers, Dom Sothra of the Cosmos. Prepare to indulge in experiencing sheer bliss, because today another riveting, catfitting, stellar unboxing video is about to be brought to fruition. What item will I be unboxing? What item will I be opening? Without further delay, without further procrastination, allow me to elicit the packaging. What item is encompassed inside this bulky, hefty, tangible box? Let's find out. I'm going to... I'm going to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Bear with me. It will only take me billions of picoseconds to extract the item from the box and subsequently render the contents of the box transparent. Here we go. The boxing process is about to commence. I have drawn forth the one and only illustrious action figure known by the moniker of Dark Side. Apparently he's derived from the DC Comics Unlimited. Uh, apparently he's derived from the DC Comics Unlimited action figure line. Sorry about the way I worded that earlier. It sounded atrocious and appalling and egregious in old fast Seth. Alrighty. Let's meticulously scrutinize this figurine. He stands anywhere from six to seven inches tall. I would presume that he's at least six and a half inches tall. I should not make any arbitrary assumptions about his height. I get to measure him. I love his aesthetics. They look akin to his comic book appearance. I love his hues. I love his textures. I love his seam lines. I love his shadings. I love the fact that he has articulation in certain joints, he seems to lack finger joint articulation. It's disappointing that his fingers on his left hand are not fully clenched together. I have some gripes about this figurine. He doesn't have as many points of articulation when compared to the Toy Biz Marvel Legends figurines. Also, his shoulder pads seem to, seem to be flimsy. They may not be sturdy. It's also unfortunate that he's not bulkier. I would have preferred if he had larger muscles to accentuate his physical prowess. This figurine is by no means abysmal, but is by no means the quintessential dark side. You may want to purchase the dark side from the DC Universe Classics action figure line. However, this is a viable alternative if you are frugal and if you are on the cuff of being broke I was able to purchase this figurine for under $11 via Amazon.com let's open him alrighty the packaging can be relegated to the trash. Does, it, does his appearance emulate his appearance in Justice League Unlimited? Uh, does, it, does his appearance emulate his appearance in Justice League Unlimited? No, he looks similar to his appearance in Justice League Unlimited, but this appearance, this outfit is disparate from the one he uses in that particular series. His appearance has been slightly modified, it's been slightly revamped. I would prefer it if his fingers were fully clenched together in order to formulate a fist on his left hand, but it's not the end of the world. As I stated earlier, his um, shoulder pads apparently are flimsy. They're comprised of rubber. They could be ascended or descended at your own discretion. They're apt to fall down if you try to lift them up. I wonder if his neck is comprised of a disjoint. Perhaps it is. He can rotate his head. Let me flaunt him in front of the camera for you to feast your eyes. Um, feast your eyes on the one and only notorious, infamous, sadistic, malicious, violent, corrupt, 
belligerent. Dark side from the DC universe. It's too bad that he lacks any accessories. It would have been nice if he could wield a weapon. It's too bad that his left hand is unable to wield any weapons. It's too bad that his fingers are preposed. He lacks an ankle pivot. He seems to have a diaphragm joint. That's always nice. You can rotate his waist at your discretion. His torso seems to be relatively small. I would have preferred if it was bulkier and more massive. His biceps seem to be small in stark contrast to other figurines such as the Marvel Select or Marvel Selects Juggernaut. What else? He has peg holes in the bottom of his feet. His aesthetics are decent, his hues are decent, but he's not spectacular by any means. Perhaps I should have abstained from buying him and allocated the funds that I would have spent on this figurine towards a DC Universe Classics Dark Side action figure. I believe the DC Universe Classics Dark Side action figure is a build a figure that you can assemble if you collect all of the figurines that come bundled with his joints. This figurine is pre-assembled. Unfortunately, he's not the DC Universe Classics Dark Side, but I cannot afford the other one at the moment, so I'll have to make do with this figurine. He was sculpted by the Four Horsemen Studios Company. His sculpt is decent. The only gripe I have is the fact that he's not bulkier and the fact that his left hand is in an awkward pose for an action figure. His fingers should be semi clenched together so he could wield a weapon or fully clenched together so he could formulate another fist. It's nice that he can rotate his hands. It's nice that he has a joint in his knees and in his elbows. It's nice that he has a diaphragm joint and can lean forward or backwards. However, it's unfortunate that cut that costs were cut by utilizing these cheap rubber flimsy shoulder pads and by minimizing the plastic that went into the figurine. He's supposed to be more hefty. He's supposed to be more masculine. Does he look feeble? No. Does he look petty? No. He just does not look as muscular as He typically is in the Justice League Unlimited series, so it is what it is for under $11. I guess I'm content with this purchase and decision. For $15, I would have forgot the opportunity to buy him, so those are my sentiments pertaining to this figurine. He's not my favorite figurine, but at the same time, he's not my least favorite figurine. I'm glad that I added a dark side to my collection, but I shouldn't just buy variants of figures. I'm not particularly... I shouldn't just buy variants of figures that I'm not particularly appeased with just to have that character in my prodigious action figure collection. 
Perhaps I should wait until I could afford to purchase the superior version, even if it is unaffordable to procure at the moment. I just don't think it's worth it to pay 250% more to purchase a superior dark side action figure when this one can suffice. So I hope that you found this video to be intriguing and stupendous. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.